at around 5.30, uh, the firehouse here got a knock on the door saying that the house across the street was on fire, which indeed it was. So they called up and they got more resources to come and we quickly attacked the fire, which it looked like it was going to get away from us. But uh, the aggressive attack kept it to the one building, to the top floor. So there were flames when you got in? Uh, heavy smoke. Heavy smoke. And uh, any, how many families got affected? I think two families. Anyone injured? Anyone hurt? Not as of yet. Sir, I understand that uh, you live in a house. Can you tell us what you think happened here? Yeah. <coughs> I have seen the fire. That at the first sense, it was very small, and it was outside my house. And I started throwing the water. I opened my window and I started throwing the water. And mostly it, it went off. But it has taken a place from inside and it goes to my attic. So then I called, because it's a fire, fire station in front of my home. So I called them, they come and they have taken the all charge and they started uh, the, in his, taking all, all the things and they have asked us to move out from the home and everybody get out. And then they have taken the charge and they have cut out our attic and the, the fire went off. So do you tried yourself to put the fire, fire out? Yeah, I, I tried my best because it was a very small amount, a very, it was very low. And I have seen it from outside. When I opened my window, I have seen and beside my wall there was a fire. So I took the bu uh, one bucket of water and I threw on, on that one. And mostly it went off. But I don't know how it started again. So it's better they will tell you how it happens. I understand that you are the hero of today. You saw the fire and you ran to the firehouse and uh, called them up. Is that true? Um, yes, my name is Janice De Leon. I was doing the garbage for my, my landlord, and the guy came. A guy came and said that he saw a fire, and he was not sure. He think it was a barbecue or something. And I went and I saw, and I run to the fire department and not because it's better to make sure, you know, for them. So when, when we, we don't see no smoke or nothing, so then they came and they do what they have to do. How long did it take from the moment that you knock at the door? to the time that they got to the building? A minute and a half, almost two minutes. Quick enough. I guess if it wasn't for them, maybe the results would have been much different. That's right, because people were sleeping and I was knocking everybody up because people were sleeping in the other building and I wake everybody out. Thank you very much. Thank you.